Chris. We're just north of the river. The river's about 100 yards that way. Earl Chadwick Road is just down the road from us that way. This is where a new aerial warning is in place tonight. That's a warning to be prepared. It's not a mandatory evacuation. Still, there are some homes just down there that are underwater. But check out these sandbags. A pile of them has been dumped here. We're told that there's a homeowner and he's taking these sandbags by boat down to his house. His house is on a little bit of high ground. He's going to try to save his home. They're making these back in town where officials are feeling some confidence that things in town are stable. Still, volunteers are coming out. They want to help their neighbors who may find themselves in harm's way. And from the air, you can see a swollen lake Sar uh, Saracene, proof that the raging Arkansas River is pushing into Pine Bluff more and more every minute. People in low-lying areas have been warned to be prepared, and today an assembly line of volunteers gathered to make more than 5,000 sandbags. The city road department manager told me that they're shipping them to communities outside of the cities, like out here. For those under the new warnings, volunteers that we met say they aren't impacted by the high water, they just want to help. So we wanted to come help the communities and show these young boys what all this is about. Do you think they get it? They better. They're going to have a long explanation when we get home if they don't get it. Several local high school football teams are expected to be back there in the morning after their workouts to continue stockpiling sandbags just in case the worst fears are realized. Those aerial flood warnings, again, they are not mandatory evacuations. They're recommendations to be ready. There are still some mandatory evacuation orders in places for places near Pine Buff like Island Harbor. Live in Jefferson County, Chris Williams, TH V11.